Hey, Grade 7. So last week we talked about all the different types of beams, and I made um, some really great crafts for you guys to show you uh, beams. And then this week we're going to talk about the other thing that makes structure strong, uh, which are trusses, arches, and domes. Um, and don't worry, there are some more crafts for you guys to see. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun building stuff, actually. I just wish I was building stuff with you guys in class. It'd be so much better. Um, so following along, this is slide 11 in your notebook. 11. Um, okay, so... These are the things that you're going to see um, all the time. And just like last week when I asked you guys to go look for supporting beams, um, this week I want you guys to get out there and look to see if you can find some arches in your domes and some trusses, uh, either in your neighborhood or in your house. And I promise you, you will, because they're super, super common. We see them everywhere. We're going to show you why. Um, so trusses are a network of beams that form triangles. So that's like this, right? So mine, you know, my magic trust of science um, is made of toothpicks and popsicle sticks or and not popsicle sticks, toothpicks and marshmallows. Um, and what's really good about this triangle is super strong. So I can put pressure here and we can see the bridge will bend, but it's unlikely to break. Um, and that's because this triangle is distributing weight evenly. Same thing is that this bridge can actually turn. And if you um, ever has ever been on or seen a bridge on a windy day, you will actually see the bridge turn like this and that's on purpose. Um, right, so that's torsion. Remember, the twist is torsion, um, and the more torsion a bridge can withstand, the less likely it is to break. Um, and that's a really great thing about trusses. Um, so sometimes we see trusses aside from bridges, as we see them on Ferris wheels as well. Uh, you'll see a big round circle um, that'll pop up somewhere here um, with triangles that support the circle. Okay, uh, I'm going to skip over arches. Actually, I'm going to come back to arches at the end because of uh, important on the scene video cut away. Um, so domes. So domes are a structure that looks like, you know, if you took a sphere and you cut it in half, that's a dome. Um, if you remember from like right at the early of the unit, when we talked about frames and shells, um, trusses can often be seen in frames, uh, not always, but often. And then domes are like shells, right? It's the same type of concept. Um, this is a geodesic dome that I made again out of toothpicks and marshmallows. You could also use spaghetti or jube jubes. Um, so I made this one yesterday, so my marshmallows have hardened, so they're a bit of glue. But what's pretty cool about this is this is made out of pentagons um, on the top and the bottom. There's a pentagon here and a pentagon on the bottom, and then the rest is triangles. What's cool about this is I can actually press pretty hard on this. I know you can't see me, but I promise you I'm pressing quite hard. And it actually stays quite secure. And then same if I press the top, right, it'll stay pretty, pretty solid. Um, and that's because it's distributing weight evenly. And what's cool about domes is it's like, it's you're, when you see an arch in a second, it's like um, they, they use compression form and it's like you have a whole bunch of arches put together uh, to make a dome, right? So we use a lot of these because they're super, super strong and they have a really, really big volume. Um, so you'll see a lot of the tops of religious buildings have them. Um, I'm going to pull up a picture of the biodome, which is a cool zoo in um, Montreal where there's penguins and stuff. Um, and also a dome. They look cool. They're super strong. They're super big. This is my geodesic dome. Um, okay, so before we cut away to my reporter in the field with um, arches, I'm going to show you what I, this is going to be the close-up version of what you're going to see in the video. Um, so what this is, is this is the two separate pieces of my arch, and I can promise you that on their own, these things don't stand up, right? But as we cut away to the video in a second, using this, which is a keystone, um, this is actually going to help my arch stand up and support weight. Um, and this works by using something called compression force. It is fixing these pieces together um, using compression which is going to hold thing up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to cut to my reporter, Bill, in the field. 